วัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Flower in the Kitchen Channel. Today I will show you how to make lamb musman curry. Musman curry is a fusion of Thai and Middle East curry. It is the combination of Thai late curry and many kind of dry spice. Check out the ingredients at the description box below. I use one package or allow 50 grams of the musman curry paste. I add one tablespoon of cooking oil, roasting it to cool out the smell of the herbs because it had been in the package for a while. If you cook with your homemade musman curry paste, you can skip this part. Roast it until the nice smell came out, and then add some coconut milk. Allow 150 ml or more than a half of the can. Keep what it left for later. Stirring until you see that the oil has separated out. It is quite fragrant and fill up the whole kitchen with a nice aroma. As you see, I keep stirring non-stop to make sure that it will not get burned. Simmer on high heat. You can see that the oil separate out curry. In Thai, we call this state at kilo. It is the process when oil is separate from the coconut milk. Now it is ready to add lamb. I use about 500 grams of lamb and cut into a big pieces. Stir it thoroughly. You can use chicken beef, pork, as you like. What I am doing now is the quick recipe. Actually, the correct way is boiling the meat with the thin coconut milk and simmer until it cooks and meat should be tender. Anyway, as I said before, this is quick and easy recipe. I add the less of coconut milk. Check out on my wok, you will see that it is really creamy and it looks so good. The delicious smell is came up. I add some carrot in my musman curry too. In my opinion, carrots go good with coconut milk. You can skip this if you don't like it. Just stick with the potato and meat and the original recipe. Cover the lid and let it simmer just nearly cook. Open the lid and stir a little bit. Add 1 tablespoon of palm sugar and 4 tablespoons of tamarind juice. For the tamarind, add more or less up to your liking. Try not to put in a big amount at the same time. A handful of loaded peanut. This is another essential ingredient. It is add an extra layer of richness and textures to the curry. Two bay leaves. Usually don't use it in Thai cuisine, but in musman curries. Add salt or fish sauce to taste. But fish sauce make it tastier. Add 200 ml of water. Then add potatoes. For the potato. Cut it into big pieces. Mm -hmm. 
add one large onion. Peel the skin off and cut into big pieces. My wok is too small, so I will change it to the another container. Lower the heat to medium high heat. Cover the lid and simmer until it cooks. Give it a taste before turn off the heat. The taste should be sour, salty and sweet. The meat must be tender and potato is fully cooked but not too soft. The curry must be oily surface but nice aroma from the herb. For Thai Masman curry, it is more liquid than Indian curries because we eat it with steamed rice. It is ready to serve. Serve with steamed rice. The base is jasmine rice. Or you can serve it at a single dish like this. Masman curry is loaded with earth, but it is mild and mellow with coconut milk. Thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next video. I put the new video every week. ขอบคุณค่ะบาย